Asian forest scorpion, we have babies and it's time to separate them from their mother. But just look at what she did. You know that when we build this enclosure, we put a drainage layer down here. Those are clay balls and you see this, this is actually a layer that separates substrate from the drainage layer, that's some plastic mesh. But look what the what the scorpion did it broke the mesh and and dug all the clay balls from this corner she is destroying my work not cool not cool now let's take it and evaluate the situation and now i have clay balls on the floor she was definitely busy but before we before we start with the scorpions there are a bunch of fan mails that we need to open first these bigger ones are some sort of fan art and we have two letters so let's first open the letters thank you Nate for the letter and thank you for being a subscriber since I had 500 subscribers you wrote it that you also started the channel and if I can check it out but I don't see you writing what's the name of the channel so I'm sorry but I cannot check it out but good luck with it have fun thank you Natalie and I will make sure to check your Natalie's eight-legged journey channel <laughs> Thank you for the letter. Mantis Smith, hmm, this is familiar. What the hell is this? Holy... Manfid Mania, issue 3. He already sent me the issue 1 and 2. <laughs> well, this is some huge mantis, but you could draw it on this plain side or it was intentionally drawn on this side. I would say it was intentional. Thank you for it and thank you for the magazine. I will check it out later. Thanks, man. Oh, this one is from the person that visited the dark den. Oh, sweet. Tomislav sent me this amazing piece of art. He already emailed me asking me if he can ship it to me, so I already seen it. But it is signatured by Deda Radko, and Deda means uh, grandfather on creation. So I assume that this was made by your grandfather. Regardless, thank you. I will definitely hang it somewhere in the dark den. And the last one, the biggest. What do we have here? Oh my god! Would you look at this? Holy crap, this is so good! I assume that this is devil. Let's see what the what the note says. This was made by Fahad, Fahad, or as he wrote that I can call him Star Demon. I guess that's his nickname. Thank you, man. This is a really amazing work of art. And he wrote me his Twitter and YouTube, so I will write it down and link it down in the description. I assume that since he wrote it, he is okay with it. <laughs> Thank you, man. This is really amazing. Now, let's start separate, separating some babies. <laughs> some light. Let's bring this here. And unfortunately, I think that we will need to wreck this enclosure to get to the babies. We will probably need to remove the cork bark and do some digging. I'm not really a fan of that, but I think that, but I believe that that is the only way to get to the babies. Here I prepared a tub with substrate and also I will put a pieces of cork bark inside so scorpions can hide. For now, until they molt once again, I will house them together. And then later on I would separate them. So let's just do it, right? I'm not sure if I'm ready for this because I don't know how this will go. I can't see the female because she made a tunnel all the way into this corner. You see down here, she dug all the way there. So she's not currently visible, but that definitely means that we need to remove the, the cork bark. Let's see how that will go. Ah, but the enclosure is so nice. I'm really not a fan of doing that. I'll move this so I don't get a lot of dirt on it. Here we go. Oh, you can see the female. I'm not sure if you will also be able to see her because it is in the dark. You see? Down there. Oh, and also I have a clip that I recorded when I spotted that she got babies. So let me first play that right now. Everyone, we have a breaking news. I don't know when you will see this video, but currently it is breaking news. You see here is an empty spot on my on my shelf. This is where Asian Forest Scorpion enclosure is. And you know I got it like a year and a half ago. This is its enclosure. I got it like a year and a half ago and it is a wild caught adult specimen. But I had no idea if it's a male or a female. I didn't really care, I was just psyched that I have a Asian Forest Scorpion because they are awesome. They are big and black and 
superb but now i know it's sex you want to check it out for yourself look what we have here holy crap it is definitely a female with a bunch of babies on her back awesome and really big surprise for me i never parried her or anything so that means that she was caught while she was already pregnant which is awesome because now we have babies back to the original video there now you have seen that how it was when i figured it out now let's get back to business i will need a tub for Obama because it will be much easier to manage everything once she is outside let's see if i can get her out hello hello sorry for doing this but it needs to be done sorry 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 yeah 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 i know can i grab you by your tail you won't mind that a lot right there we go Yeah, okay yes i know that oh 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 there okay safe and sound <laughs> now we can search for babies i can already see them i will need to remove the cork bark damn this will be painful because also this beautiful plant is all rooted now and not a fan of that i'll just pull everything then this should come off this is so painful to do, so painful. I was so happy how this enclosure looks. <clears throat> One baby, where is the rest? Here we go. This is the, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. So this is the first baby. Let's get you there. Let's search for the rest. I really don't like the fact that I cannot see any other. What is up with that? found another one so it looks like they are buried all around second baby Woo! more scorpions third fourth please don't sting me i don't know if the babies can sting me or not <laughs> so cool okay looking for more i think the best way is just to take all the dirt out because everything is mixed up now five and six was it four i already lost count Seven. I don't even know how many they usually have. Nine. <laughs> He's all dirty. Because they are in the dirt. Oh, I see ten. Oh, don't. Whoa, he was attacking. I'm not a fan of that. Can you even see anything what I'm doing? Yeah, this is the place where I should have put the camera in the first place. Twelve. How many more will we find? Oh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whoa. 16 17 oh my god i found uh i found the gold mine and here is also one okay now i definitely lost track i'm just pulling babies left and right we're all going in a drainage layer and i'm a bit afraid to not press them too hard when i'm trying to pull them out how many more So many babies, so many babies! <laughs> okay, I believe that those were all in the drainage layer. But you see what she did with this. She destroyed everything. There. Get all of this back. Cork bark. Something like, like this. And then all of this went around. I wouldn't be surprised if there is still some baby left. I will probably come here late at night so I can check out if any of the babies is outside. Any of the babies that I missed. And I see one. It was on the actual cork bark. You sneaky, sneaky scorpion. Now, even though this enclosure was really good looking, at least in my opinion, now I will probably need to do it all over once again. There, it doesn't look that terrible, to be honest. It definitely seen a better days, but it is not terrible. Let's put mama back in. Oh, you can see how mad she is. Whoa, okay. So mad and jumpy. <laughs> Sorry about messing with your height, but your babies, they left me no choice. Do you maybe want one cricket as an apology? Yeah, I will give you one cricket. Here you go. Enjoy a meal. Boom. Immediately stinging action. Hell yeah. 
You don't like that light, right? Sorry. Now let's check out the babies. Whoa, whoa, that's an army of scorpions. Holy crap. So on this cork bark, one, two. We have a third on the cork bark. <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 12, 21, 22, 23, 24, I think 24, could be easily wrong. Now you can take a good look at one. Yeah, it is really small, really tiny and they still don't have the black color. I assume on next ball they will get that. If my understandings are correct, they should now be at second molt and at third molt they should be separated. If anyone watching this got some experience, like real experience, and I got something wrong, feel free to write the stuff down and let me know. That was everything. Now if you're wondering what I will do with all these scorpions, honestly I have no idea. On this Sunday I will bring few to Terra Plaza because on Terra Plaza I will meet two of my Patreons and I'm bringing them their shirts and also I will give a few of these to each of them and with the rest I will most likely give the majority of them to my friends but I don't know maybe I'll sell something who knows we will see and also at Terra Plaza I don't plan to get any new animal I'm mostly going to give the shirts and also I need to buy a bunch of feeders lateralis and dubia roaches because my colonies are a bit dwindling because of Despacito's appetite <laughs> we will need to bump the numbers on those colonies so, besides that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you are new to this channel, oh, you get this t-shirt if you are Patreon for one year. At the second bracket, at first bracket, you get the stickers. But also, I'm hoping to start selling uh, regular merch. So, without, the, without this, just the logo, by the end of the year, maybe before Christmas, I'm not sure. Need to set up the web page and deal with all the legal, legal stuff regarding that. So, we will see. So, subscribe. Thumbs up, comment something, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, see you soon, bye!